future. Few works of art are as recognizable as the Mona Lisa. Except maybe that rabbit I drew when I was three, as it's still on my mum's fridge. Painted by artist and, if you're to believe, Assassin's Creed inventor of ridiculous killing devices, Leonardo da Vinci, it stands as a piece, much like my own, to be admired by many the world over. So much is the attention that it's received, thanks in part to Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, aka the thing I use as a doorstop in my leaky shed, that it's led many a person to believe the painting is hiding a fair few secrets. Now, personally, I don't believe the painting houses a conspiracy or a hidden meaning about how the world world is actually run by lizards, but if you'll allow me to don my tinfoil hat, then let me share with you some of the weirder things that people have actually found inside the painting. With this in mind, I'm Jules from WhatCulture.com, and these are 8 Hidden Secrets in the Mona Lisa. Number 8. A Pregnancy The most accepted theory of the Mona Lisa's identity is that she was the wife of a Florentine gentleman named Lisa Giacondo. Although, considering no other evidence of her appearance exists, there are plenty of party poopers who suggest that's a bit of a stretch. However, that didn't stop some art historians taking the theory a bit further. They posed that not only was she probably this Italian noblewoman, but she was probably knocked up when she sat for the portrait with da Vinci. The basic theory is that the crossed arms across the belly and the slight tummy suggest that she was actually with child. And historically, Del Giacondo was indeed pregnant with her second child when the painting was done. But there's more. In 2006, a group of Canadian scientists used a laser and infrared scan to produce a 3D image of the painting. Apparently, these scans show that there's a fine veil around the Mona Lisa's shoulders, an item of clothing often worn by women of the Italian Renaissance when they were expecting or had just given birth. Other people have read that piece of fabric draped over her shoulder as a shawl or a scarf. But when coupled with the hands across the stomach and the historical timing, it does make the case that she was defo preggers. Number 7. She may or may not be a prostitute. The Lisa Giacondo theory might be the most accepted, but there are plenty of other ideas about the identity of the Mona Lisa. Some suggest it was Leonardo da Vinci's mother, others say that it was a mix of female and male models, and some even reckon that it's a gender-swapped self-portrait of the man himself, effectively meaning that da Vinci created Tumblr. But others think that she's a prostitute and claim her hair is the reason why. According to the history books, the only women in 16th century Italy who would be so hairless of face, aka no brows, lashes or moustache, was a prostitute. The other piece of historical evidence people point to is the hair that she does have, on her head, is worn in the same fashion of prostitutes of the time. Number 6. High Cholesterol So you know how most people stand there for ages looking at the Mona Lisa trying to figure out why she's smiling, or even if she is smiling? Well, not Dr. Vito Franco, who was more concerned with whether or not she had high cholesterol. I kid you not, a ton of his research was into the skin condition of the model, and he concluded without reasonable doubt that there is not only a lot of fatty build-up present, but there might also be a fatty tissue tumour in her right eye. What this means in terms of the grander scale is up for debate, but good on you, Vito, you mad dog of art history. Number 5. Eyebrows and Eyelashes So one thing you might notice about the painting is that the model appears to have stood too close to an open flame as she's lacking eyebrows and eyelashes. Well, not according to Pascal Cott, a French engineer and inventor, she did have them at one point. Using super high-tech machinery not normally seen outside of your mother's bedside table, he found evidence of a single eyelash above the left eye, and concluded that the rest might have been removed through a cleaning accident. Number 4. The Golden Ratio The Golden Ratio is a number found if you divide a line into two, and the longer part divided by the smaller part is equal to the whole length divided by the longer part. You followed that, right? Well, it's not really important that you do, just that you know that it's a pretty big deal in mathematics. What is important is that you know that the Golden Ratio has been used as the guiding principle for many pieces of art and engineering, including the Pyramids of Giza and Da Vinci's own rendition of The Last Supper. So it's probably not at all surprising that it crops up in the Mona Lisa too. The idea of using it in art is that the Golden Ratio will produce the proportions which are most pleasing to the human eye. It's supposed to produce a sense of beauty and balance, which might explain quite why so many people are so obsessed with the Mona Lisa. The face of the Mona Lisa fits perfectly into the golden rectangle, as does the entire portrait. Number 3. A smile or not. There's so much going on in the Mona Lisa that sometimes it's easy to get fixated on the macro and not hone in on the micro. Case in point, for pretty much the whole five centuries since it was painted, people have been arguing about whether or not she's smiling. Interpretations have come from scientists, historians, critics and Joe Public alike. In 2005, Dutch researchers developed some emotion recognition computer software and ran the painting through it. They apparently discovered that the smile was 83% happy, 9% disgusted, 6% fearful, 2% angry, less than 1% neutral, and 0% surprised. And to be honest, I'd be 0% surprised if you'd ever thought about any other smile in that much detail. Number 2. A Hidden Code 
Ah, oh, as much as it pains me to admit it, Dan Brown might have been onto something. Members of Italy's National Committee for Cultural Heritage decided to take the Da Vinci Code semi-seriously for more than five seconds, and it turns out that there might have actually been some hidden codes concealed within the Mona Lisa. Oh, God. Placed there centuries ago by Leonardo da Vinci because apparently had the patience of a saint and just really fancied hiding shit in his painting. Alongside the rogue eyelash that was found, there were also letters and numbers which can be seen very faintly in the Mona Lisa's eyes. Visible under a microscope, the letters LV can be found, possibly forming a signature from da Vinci, and in her other eye, the letters CE or CB. We really have no idea what these letters mean, but they're definitely there, so... I, I guess that's something? And number one, the hidden horse's head. Right, so we've explored a fair amount of things in the painting, but as always, we saved the best for last. For if you were to flip the canvas on its side, actually just a quick note, don't do this in the Louvre, otherwise you'll get shot, then you'll see a menagerie of animals painted right into the background. Also goes the theory of Ron Picarillo, whose slightly rambling website, The Hidden Horse's Head, looks a bit like an orgy of HTML code and MS Paint. But beyond this abrasive site design, there's actually a lot of evidence to point out that the portrait includes several other paintings of animals, including a lion's head, an ape head, and a buffalo head in the background. Picarillo's site goes on to explain even more crazy theories, but this stuff gets a little too rich for my blood. It's total crackpot stuff. But then again, that's exactly what I'd say if there were more secrets to be found, and I in fact do work for the Illuminati. And that's our list. Got any more secrets hidden in plain sights you'd like to talk about? Well, drop us a message in the comments section below. And why not swing by whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. And then follow us on the Twitter. You know you want to. As always, I've been Jules. You've been awesome. And I'll see you soon.